the nine-pound hammer of doom in the heart of the arid Middle East. During the 1500s, there existed a remote village at the edge of a vast desert. This village, known as Al Jazeera, was home to a humble blacksmith named Khalid. He was known far and wide for his incredible strength and unparalleled skill in crafting the finest swords and tools in the land. One scorching summer's day, while exploring the barren desert for valuable rocks and minerals, Khaled stumbled upon a massive boulder, unlike any he had ever seen. It was as if the gods themselves had placed it there, for its surface shimmered with an otherworldly sheen. Determined to uncover its secrets, Khaled fetched his massive nine-pound hammer, a tool he had forged himself, capable of cracking even the toughest of stones. With every strike, the boulder cracked further, until at last, it split open with a thunderous roar. Inside the boulder, nestled within a hollow, was a small, shimmering seed, unlike any Khalid had ever seen. It gleamed with an eerie, bluish light, casting dancing shadows on the walls of the hollow. Khalid's hands trembled as he carefully cradled the mysterious seed in his palm. As he held the seed, a sense of foreboding washed over him but curiosity drove him to take it back to his village. He planted it in the fertile soil of his garden, and to his astonishment, the seed sprouted and grew rapidly, its leaves taking on an unusual bluish hue. Kale tended to the plant with care. And as it grew, so did the legends surrounding it. The villagers believed it to be a gift from the heavens, a plant of immense power and potential. Cowled with a wry smile, named it Nine Pound Hammer in honor of the tool that had unearthed it. The Nine Pound Hammer plant flourished under Khaled's watchful eye, and soon its effects were known far beyond the village. When its buds were dried and smoked, they induced vivid, prophetic dreams that revealed glimpses of the future. People from distant lands journeyed to Al Jazeera seeking the mysterious plant and the wisdom it could offer. As the village's fame grew, so did the darkness that clung to the nine-pound hammer. Those who indulged in its power became obsessed with the visions it provided. They believed themselves to be prophets and seers, guided by the plant's eerie revelations. Kaled, watched in horror as the village descended into madness, torn apart by visions and delusions. The nine-pound hammer, once a source of wonder, had become a curse, leading its users down a treacherous path. Desperate to undo the damage caused by the plant, Khal took up his hammer once more, determined to destroy the source of the madness. With a heavy heart, he swung the hammer, shattering the nine-pound hammer plant and burying its remnants deep in the desert sands. The villagers, freed from the plant's influence, slowly regained their sanity, but the memory of the nine-pound hammer lingered as a cautionary tale, a reminder that even the most extraordinary discoveries could lead to ruin when misused. Khalid returned to his blacksmithing, vowing to craft tools and weapons that would serve the greater good, unlike the cursed seed he had unwittingly unearthed with the mighty nine-pound hammer. And as the sun set over Al Jazeera, casting long shadows across the desert, the legend of the nine-pound hammer and the blacksmith who had discovered it faded into history, a tale of caution and the enduring power of the human spirit. Years passed, and Al Jazeera thrived once more, its villagers living in peace and prosperity. The memory of the nine-pound hammer had become a distant echo of the past, a story told to children as a lesson in the consequences of unchecked curiosity. But one day, a traveler arrived in Al Jazeera, a wanderer named Karim, who had heard whispers of the legendary nine-pound hammer. He was a seeker of rare and wondrous treasures, and he believed that the plant's power could be harnessed for the greater good. Karim ventured into the desert, 
determined to find any trace of the fabled plant. He scoured the sands, following the path where Kali had buried the remnants of the nine-pound hammer. And there, beneath the scorching sun, he discovered a small bluish shoot emerging from the ground. Excitement surged through Kareem as he realized he had unearthed the last remnants of the nine-pound hammer. He carefully nurtured the plant, cultivating it in secret as he sought to unlock its potential without succumbing to the madness that had befallen Al, Jazeera, as the plant grew. Kareem's experiments with its buds yielded remarkable results. He discovered that when consumed in moderation, the nine-pound hammer could indeed grant visions of the future. But unlike the villagers of Al Jazeera, he approached the plant with caution and humility. Word of Kareem's remarkable abilities spread throughout all. Jazeera, and he became a respected and revered figure. The village prospered under his guidance, and the nine-pound hammer was no longer a source of madness, but a tool for protection and prosperity. As the years passed, Kareem's legacy as a wise and benevolent leader was etched into the history of Al Jazeera. The story of the nine-pound hammer had come full circle from a curse to a blessing, a reminder that the true power of discovery lay not in the object itself, but in the wisdom and intent of those who wield it. And so, in the heart of the arid Middle East, where the desert sands held the secrets of the past and the promise of the future, the legend of the nine pound hammer lived on a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity and the capacity for redemption and renewal, even in the face of the most extraordinary and unpredictable discoveries.